Rutgers fires its men's basketball coach, Mike Rice, after a shocking video goes viral. I'm Marcus Mabry for the New York Times. Steve Eater has been following this story. He joins me now. Steve, thanks for coming up. Thank you. Uh, why was Mike Rice fired? Was he fired because of the abusive way he treated his players? Or was he fired because a video showing that abuse went viral? Well, certainly what we have kind of come to understand is that uh, folks at Rutgers were aware of this conduct you know, for quite a while now, actually going back at least to November when they reviewed a video um, that everyone got to see yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so f from there, there, there was a review that was done, there was a suspension that occurred, little was told to the public about this, about this video and the matter and what was happening behind scenes. Um, but from there, you know, the video went viral, and that's when the firing occurred. Do we know at this point who knew exactly administration, if they uh, knew the details of, of, of the abuse? Well, the university president, you know, was aware that there was, were, were allegations and concerns in the program, but came out today and said that he hadn't actually reviewed this video um, until, until just yesterday. So the um, athletics director, you know, had more knowledge, was more directly involved going back to this, you know, this time period in, you know, in November when they could sort of see it. Um, and obviously, this is, this is obviously not a way that most head coaches treat their athletes. You, it doesn't. It doesn't appear that way. I mean, I've, I've been talking to people today, trying to get a sense of that. And and one of the things that you know somebody said right away is this is a, this is a black eye for all coaches. And um, but but that it's just not how business is typically done. You know, outside of the public's view, that you know coaches recruit these players, they try to treat them well, and they're looking out for them. And yeah, there you know there are examples of, of things going above and beyond what you'd expect. And you know, B Bobby Knight, one of the most famous coaches of all, has had his moments. Mm -hmm. um, but Typically, this, this certainly uh, goes beyond what, what I think is the norm out there. Steve, a final question. Is this a particular problem for Ruck, Rutgers? Because some of the mistreatment, some of the abuse involved uh, anti-gay slurs that the coach would level at the players. Rutgers having Tyler Clemente, uh, who, who killed himself, a young gay man at, at that university. Does this present a particular problem for them? I mean, certainly, the people who are looking at this are saying, yeah, it's, it's troubling from a whole number of angles. But yeah, at Rutgers, there's a sensitivity around these kinds of issues right now, and, and, and certainly that's part of, the, part of the story. All right. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. That's all for now. I'm Marcus Mabry for The New York Times.